Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will, down here in Key West. You know this guy. <laughs> and we got Aaron's brother, Ryan. <laughs> uh, we started out before the sun was up. Uh, did a little bit of trolling, but there was too many weeds. And then did a little bit of jigging and I got sharked. So now we've moved on to deep dropping. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, it was user error. Um, but deep dropping, uh, I've done a couple other episodes on it and hopefully get into some tile fish. What else? Yellow edge grouper? Hopefully. hopefully. I don't know. At this rate, nothing. But... <laughs> <laughs> I think it has a cup. Well, we're just, just starting out, so it hasn't. Uh, it hasn't started with a bang, as they say, <laughs> but our day is just beginning. So I'm probably one of the only people that'll say this, but I'm hoping for a little bit of bycatch with the tile and the grouper, and then we'll uh, cook up something good. So for anyone wondering, a quick synopsis of deep dropping. Um, number one, go to Key West Waterman's channel. <laughs> there you'll get a way more detailed explanation, but very simply, you start out with an electric reel <laughs> and then very heavy weights, anywhere from 5 to 12 pounds to get all the way to the bottom and you are going down anywhere from 500 to up to a thousand feet even. Uh -huh. We got my rides on it. <laughs> All right, back to deep dropping. And then you have your line, has about five hooks on it, throw a couple of squid on there, and then you want to lay it on the bottom. Oh, Ryan's on. <laughs> there we go. All right, so now I just have to explain deep dropping really poorly every time we'll catch fish. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, one right behind. <laughs> hey, nice work, Ryan. <laughs> Oh, there's a whole bunch. I, they're biting the lure, but it's all wrapped up. I don't want to catch. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Where do they got to be? 20? You want the hook? Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. Will got me good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Making iron work for it. Um, I'll, I'll clean it. I'll clean it. <laughs> So, brain and bleed as always. Uh, all right, well, we got a couple fish in the boat. Back to uh, deep dropping. So, <laughs> two Mahi in the boat. Unfortunately, while that was happening, this happened. Got picked off. So, there are fish down there. Gotta get them. Still on there? So, D 
deep dropping might not seem that exciting to you because you're using an electric reel and it's a lot of watching the tip of the rod and the bite. It's really just that. But it's still really exciting. I can't explain it because you never, you just don't know what you're bringing up and it's suspenseful and exciting. But we had something small on. Hopefully we have something big on. Ooh, some. Oh no, it's air bubbles. <laughs> oh, it's an Alfonsino. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I have never caught one of these in my entire life. Check it off the list. <laughs> oh, that's the first for all of us? Yeah. I've never even it's seen one. It's called an Alfonsino. That is literally the first one I've ever that seen. That is awesome. Check wow. that thing out. <laughs> that is cool. We learn something new every day. Yeah, they just look like giant goldfish. goldfish. That is crazy looking. Ain't it? I've never caught one. Are they get eaten? Yeah, supposedly. Well, all right. That, uh, that's bycatch, but that's good bycatch. That is, Check that thing out. That is cool. The first for me. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. All right. Back to it. All right. So that's an Alfonsino. If you want to see it cooked, head over to Key West Waterman. I'm going to stick with the mahi that we caught today. Aaron is going to take a whack at this. He earned this one. So if you want to see this filleted and cooked up, head over there. So pretty epic day on the water. Um, really fun. I know by Aaron's standards, it was a pretty slow deep drop day. Uh, we were hoping to get everything we needed real quick and then just have fun. But we were kind of working towards the end there. Um, but catching a couple of mahi was fun and that Alfonsino was a nice surprise. So I'm going to fillet up the mahi. Um, sun's overhead, so it might be a couple of shadows, but, uh, I don't know. You guys know how to fillet a mahi. I'm not teaching you anything new here. Let's go. Absolutely beautiful filet. Incredible fish. Uh oh, flubbed it. So with most fish. You hold your knife at an angle like you're shaving and go back and forth. Mahi skin is so thin that you actually follow along like that. And I'll show you exactly why what I just did. I angled the knife a little too much. But if you keep it more flat on the table, get the skin off but if you angle it with a sharp knife this is what happens so we will continue to cut that off I think you guys will forgive me I haven't caught a mahi in a long time and something else that's easy to do that I didn't do is to cut that fillet in half down the center to make it easier so you're only filleting the skin off from that side to that side instead of trying to go down 
the entire length of the fish. But that's okay. Just takes longer, that's all. There you go, and I am gonna cut this bloodline out. And what that leaves me with is a perfect loin to cube up to make our skewers. And that's it. So I realized there's probably no audio on that in the beginning there. Um, basically just run you through really quick. Uh, we did, I'll talk over it, we'll dub my voice over uh, what was happening. So we cut the fish into large chunks uh, because we're gonna put them on the skewer. The little tails I took off because um, they're gonna cook too quickly. So those will go to our two cats and our dog upstairs. And then we're just making a marinade. So, so far in the marinade, I have soy sauce, hoisin sauce, uh, a little bit of honey, and a little bit of sambal uh, chili paste. So now that we're all caught up and we actually have audio, um, let's get back to it. So we s did salt, now we'll do pepper. And now I have garlic clove. So we'll shred that and some ginger not too much ginger I don't want it to overpower everything and we'll give that a mix okay now I'm gonna set this aside and put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes okay and now for our other skewers Again, really, really simple. So I like to do all meat on one skewer and then my veg on the other because I find when I put it on the barbecue or the grill, um, I end up with cooked meat and raw veggies, which drives me crazy. And then if I try to get the veggies cooked a little more, I end up with overcooked meat. So I make a separate uh, skewer for the veggies. So I just have here red onion. And a pineapple. And then as far as these go, I'm not gonna bore you with making a bunch of them, but we're just gonna alternate a piece of pineapple and some red onion. And this way I can leave these on longer and everything will caramelize and cook down. And I can put them aside and finish cooking my, uh, my mahi. There you go. I'm gonna make about four or five of these and put them aside as well. And then we'll get started on our fire. <laughs> We're talking. No. Uh oh. <laughs> Hi, How are you? Yeah. How is your. Like, was she yelping? Was that what I was hearing? Yeah, she was. I don't know. I having a weird time. Oh, that's so, cool. so we have. We have our skewers. We have Paddle and Madeline in the back on a paddling tour. Tipsy's running around somewhere. All right, let's get the fire started. It's a little windy out, so I might need a little bit of help here. So we'll let the coals get nice and hot. That'll take probably about 20 minutes or so. And then we'll throw on our uh, 
pineapple skewers, and then we'll get the mahi and throw in our mahi skewers. Now, just because we do have a lot of wind out here today, I'm gonna actually cover them up to try to trap some of that heat inside there. All right, so while these are cooking, I'm gonna put together our mahi skewer. And like I said, nothing else on here, just the fish so that we're not worried about any other cook times. And I'm gonna try to keep each skewer relatively the same size pieces so that some don't cook faster than others. <laughs> We're loading them up here. There we go. All right. We'll give that about 15 more minutes, pull them off, and then we'll put these guys on. And I want that, I also want that to burn down because I want these to cook really slow, like maybe 30 minutes slow. So we got a little time to on those coals to kind of settle down more. Little bit of cayenne pepper, some garlic salt, one lime, Gonna give these a flip. There we go, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna finish them without the uh, lid on top. I'm just gonna let them slowly cook like that. And we are going to run upstairs and make some coconut rice. Well, not coconut rice, but you'll see. All right, before we add order, water, always rinse your rice. So we're gonna rinse this real quick. We rinse that about two, three times. And now, instead of water, we're gonna use coconut water. And before anyone says, why didn't you use a real coconut? I was in a rush and I got this. All right, 
these guys are cooked through, so we are going to pull them off. I'm going to take these over to the light to show you. Very nice. And just, so just like beef or chicken or anything like that, when I grill fish, I take it off and I let it rest. So I'm going to let that rest until my rice is done and then we'll plate everything up. So first, first we had a paddle by by Madeline and now look at these two jokers. <laughs> What'd you get? Well, 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 oh man. We forgot ice. All right. I found the mother load though. Ah. Super secret spot, loaded with lemon sharks. Ah, perfect. <laughs> All right, now that they're here, we can eat. And one of the other things I'm gonna add is a little bit of coconut oil. All right, so we're all in random rooms of the house, so I'm gonna hand them off as I walk through here. <laughs> we got Ryan here. <laughs> all right, looks delicious. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be I'll be back for a critique. All right, now we come back this way. Yeah. Madeline working hard. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Aaron's in the shower, so we're gonna wait for him. I'm not gonna go in there. <laughs> um, all right, we might all reconvene here, but I'm going in. Whoa. There are so many different flavors in there, but somehow they go together. I don't know how, <laughs> but they do. It's pretty good. What's your take? Very good. <laughs> Come cook for me anytime. <laughs> See, I got it easy. These these guys are out spearfishing. When you get back in, I could have boiled a shoe and they would have eaten it. <laughs> but, all right, we'll wait for Madeline and Aaron, and we'll be back here in a second. The what? The rice. Oh, <laughs> the rice is good. <laughs> it's super coconutty. Right? And there's no... I'm going to get a little bit of everything here. It's weird that they all go together, right? I like it's like... a lot of different flavors, but it all meshes really well. And it's very good. Mm-hmm. The fish is cooked perfectly. Yes. It's super ju juicy. Oh, uh, here he is. Let's see. <laughs> what meshes? <laughs> Let's Let's just watch them. it mesh. <laughs> I told I like him it. I was I was gonna deliver one to you in the shower, but Ooh, that was probably a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> What do we like got going the on here? Ooh, lime in a cut. Oh. Lime in a cut. That was not good. <laughs> Is this pineapple? You got mm -hmm. pineapple red onion salsa that's smoked. Oh. Coconut rice. Just and wait. then honey chili mahi. Oh my goodness. See that? Got to shoot a bunch of mangroves and then you come back to a meal. <laughs> then you have to fly them, yeah. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Very good. It's like the most tropical little. Yeah, it's very bowl. Key West. Yeah. It's smoky, tropical, citrusy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the it. coconut rice. I like it. All right. So like I said, when I made the coconut rice, I said coconut rice because I just cooked it with coconut water and that little bit of coconut oil. But that flavor is so big in there mm -hmm. that it really does come off like coconut rice. It's pretty good. Um, all right, guys. That was a fun day. It was a fun couple of days, actually. And uh, thanks, Ryan, for coming down. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> thanks for spotting the mine. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Yeah. yeah. Eagle. 
Eagle Eye over there caught him, so we wouldn't have had these mahi without Ryan. But uh, if you like this episode, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.